dance English. Um, yes. yes. Fuck you. Um, yeah, I'm English. Hooray! Which means that uh, I can pretty much say whatever the fuck I like, and uh, North Americans still think that I'm clever and charming. <laughs> You're looking shit stabbingly well. <laughs> it's real sweaty minge weather, isn't it? I've had a clammy plunge all day. <laughs> Cunty bollocks. Would you excuse me? I think I've left the gas on. <laughs> uh, there are some things that I can't get away with saying. Not because they're dirty. Uh, just because they sound silly in my voice. Have you seen the new Spielberg film? Absolutely awesome! <laughs> I've made a bitching curry for tonight's supper. <laughs> You've never been to New York? Why, that's totally retarded! <laughs> <laughs> I am an actress, uh, which means that I work in offices a lot. <laughs> and uh, when you're a temp, you have to get your head around all the different systems that operate within the office environment, like uh, dishwasher rules, stationary cupboard protocols, uh, most importantly though, coffee break allegiances. If you're a temp and you have coffee with the wrong person, three quarters of your department stop speaking to you. It's like being back in grade seven. <laughs> Forever. And they wonder why I haven't taken a permanent position. I hate having sex dreams about co-workers. <laughs> I can't look them in the eye the next day. I feel inappropriately aroused when I see them. And always hideously tempted to talk about what we did. <laughs> I was a late starter, I, uh, I was still a virgin in my first year at university and uh, nearly blind from masturbation <laughs> when a girlfriend came on to me at a party. So I kissed her and I liked it. <laughs> but to be fair, by that stage, I probably would have hooked up with a golden retriever had it given me a <laughs> So I finally get to do it with a boy, and all he wants to do is bum sex. Thanks. He was cheating on his girlfriend at the time, and I guess he figured that one in the stink counted less than one in the pink. I, I don't know though, I'm confused. Does that mean I lost my virginity to him? Or just my back door cherry? There doesn't seem to be a guidebook on that. I got a chihuahua for Christmas. <laughs> I was really holding out for a gay child. <laughs> I got a free kid with my husband, and um, you know, being a stepmom isn't as bad as everybody makes out. You know, no dirty diapers, no stretch marks, just a financially crippling custody battle with an insane ex-wife. <laughs> Good times. So I got a girl, and uh, with a girl comes all the really embarrassing sex and period stuff that I avoided talking to my mother about, like the plague. <laughs> Apparently though, step-parent status removes any sense of embarrassment from the child, so she'll ask me things like, uh, do girls masturbate? <laughs> Why can't we talk about blowjobs in health? <laughs> and my personal favorite, can you show me how to put in a tampon? <laughs> I'm sorry, my mother handed me the box and said, there's a diagram inside. She did not stand outside the bathroom door shouting encouragement. <laughs> okay, so you put the fluffy end in, uh, keep your finger on the stringy bit at the other end, and then aim up towards the middle of your back while depressing the cardboard plunger. <laughs> you all right? I think it went in my butt. <laughs> gone through the first three stages of gay awareness recently, starting with, we don't know any gay people, to, uh, I love gay guys, I want one to shop with. <laughs> and then just before Christmas, she found out that one of her ex-boyfriends is gay. She's 14. Uh, I'm glad it happened now. I was 20 and heartbroken. She's delighted and is planning a shopping trip to Dufferin Mall. <laughs> Like I say, I'm hoping that she goes through every stage of gay awareness and, and makes it all the way to lesbian stepchild because 
That's way cooler than a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Marilla Wax and you've been thoroughly charming. Thank you very much.